Dotplot plugin allows the graphical comparison of two biological sequences with identifying the regions of similarity. Today we will consider such a comparison. The opened project contains two sequences, the source and the mutated one. The mutation is created artificially to let me demonstrate to you the dot plot usage. To compare the sequences, I will drag one sequence object into view of the another to create a multiple sequence view that will contain the sequences to compare. Now I right click at the view and select Analyze Build dot plot. The dot plot dialog has appeared. Let's place the source sequence at the horizontal x axis and the mutated sequence at the vertical y axis. I will keep the default dot plot algorithm. The remained options are repeat finding options. Minimum repeat length option is used to draw only such matches between the sequences that are continuous and long enough. Each case is individual, but selecting two small repeat length values can overburden the plot with the matches, and selecting two high values can filter useful details. To select the repeat length value corresponding to about 1000 results, simply click the 1K results button. A repeat's identity value is 100% by default, but it can be adjusted if needed. The options are set and I press OK. The dot plot is built and displayed. I will close the unnecessary strands and views. Every dot on the plot corresponds to a matched base symbol at the x-coordinate position of the horizontal sequence and the y-coordinate position of the vertical sequence. The diagonal line indicates the match between the comparing sequences. I will zoom in the first matching region by pointing mouse cursor near it and rotating the mouse wheel. Then I select the regions area by simply clicking on the line. Note that the corresponding selections were automatically made on all the connected sequence views. Now, Looking at the details view, we can see that the sequences match along the selected area. The nearby gap is a deletion from the source sequence, since the whole gap is located at the x-axis sequence, which is, in our case, the source sequence. A deletion is a kind of a dot plot frame shift. The deletion itself can be read from the details view. I will zoom out the plot. The next noticeable plots feature is this rectangular area filled with the matches. This is most likely a low complexity region, it is a region produced by a redundancy in a particular part of the sequence. By comparing a sequence with itself, you can search for such regions within a sequence. We see at the details view that the corresponding parts of the comparing sequences actually contain only redundant thymine. Moving further, we see this gap at the diagonal. This is another kind of a frame shift, a mutation. We can tell that by the distinction between the sequences along this region. And the sequences match out of this region. The next plots feature is the last kind of a frame shift, an insertion. The whole gap is located at the y-axis sequence, which is the mutated one. This means that a subsequence was inserted into the source sequence. That's what we can read from this particular dot plot. In Eugene, it is possible to compare several dot plots. For instance, I can build another dot plot for sequences from the opened multiple sequence view. The second dot plot is built and displayed at the same view and ready to compare. 
Now, I can save the dot plot as an image or in a native format by right-clicking at the view and selecting dot plot save load items. A dot plot saved in a native format can be loaded from the dot plot view. Unnecessary dot plot views can be unloaded by selecting dot plot remove. Note that the parameters of a built dot plot can be adjusted by activating dot plot parameters menu item. In conclusion, let's use the plugin with the real data. Let's do this by activating the tools build.plot global program menu item. In the open dialog box, I will specify a chloroplast genome sequence as the first sequence and another chloroplast genome sequence as the second sequence. Note that you can open files containing multiple sequences and then join them and use as one sequence to compare. To do this, check the Join All Sequences checkbox. I press Next and specify the parameters of the new dot plot. I will use the Heuristic 1K Results button and press OK. The dot plot for the specified sequences is built and displayed. Please note that the multiple sequence view for the selected sequences was opened automatically. As we can see, the sequences match most of the times. The most noticeable regions here, besides the diagonal matches, are two big mutation regions. A mutation and insertion region. We are talking about an insertion into the horizontal sequence. And the big deletion region. That's the way to build and use dot plots in Eugene.